My name is Dan Campbell. I'm an aerospace research engineer at Aurora Flight Sciences, and this is the world's first 3D printed jet powered aircraft. Our goal with this project was to show the aerospace industry how quickly you can go from designing, building, and flying a 3D printed jet powered aircraft. My name is James Berlin. I'm an Additive Manufacturing Research Engineer at Stratasys. Aurora Flight Sciences is really pushing the boundaries of what's possible with flight. Stratasys, on the other hand, is pushing the boundaries of what's possible with additive manufacturing, so it's really a great relationship. Recently, we decided to really see how far we could push the envelope. No one has 3D printed an aircraft this big, this fast, and this complex. Stratasys 3D printing can address these challenges through design freedom. Design freedom can help, number one, with weight, so reducing the weight of components to meet stricter fuel requirements, and also by creating components that have higher levels of functionality or higher levels of complexity than what's otherwise possible with other technologies. One of the things this aircraft represents is the ability to make a mission-specific aircraft. We can really create an aircraft that's designed to do one specific thing because the cost of producing a one-off aircraft with additive manufacturing is significantly less than with other traditional manufacturing processes. Just as much as cost, we're saving on schedule. I think that's really where the technology shines. We're talking about a schedule that's half the design and build time of traditional manufacturing methods. The design process was completely collaborative, so there was weekly design reviews, there's a lot of back and forth. The Stratasys GrabCast system allows us to manage the CAD models, to communicate back and forth design changes. We're able to real-time track things like weight, how components fit together, and how different portions of the airplane were coming along. Some of the more functional components took up to 20 iterations to get right. So in terms of time for making an iteration, because we're updating a digital inventory, it's a matter of simply replacing the CAD file. This aircraft is 80% 3D printed by weight. 100% of the parts that were printed on this aircraft were either printed at Stratasys or printed by Stratasys Technologies. This aircraft is about 30 pounds, it has a 9-foot wingspan, jet engine capable of around 150 miles per hour. This aircraft is made primarily out of FDM, ASA thermoplastic. There are also LS parts, so the fuel tank for example is made from LS, and the nozzle, the exhaust nozzle is made from DMLS, it's actually an Inconel material. In the future, 3D printing will allow the aerospace industry to build more affordable aircraft, to build more aircraft specific to certain missions, and really allow the industry to be more agile. And with Stratasys, you can tell that's part of their culture.